Traditional vehicles are tailored to specific uses and cannot generally cross exposed ground surfaces. On the other hand, amphibious vehicles such as the fat truck are designed to have many uses which include transportation across exposed ground surfaces. Due to their increased popularity, the demand for amphibious vehicles has skyrocketed over the last several years and is expected to continue growing in the coming decades. In this video, we bring you the best 10 amphibious cars ever produced and their features both on land and in water. But before that, if you are a gadget lover and want to stay up to date, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Launched at the 1961 New York Motor Show, 3,878 amphicars were sold until production ceased in 1968, making this the only mass-produced amphibious vehicle available to the buying public. And you thought they weren't mainstream. Power came courtesy of a rear-mounted 1.1-liter four-cylinder petrol engine, as found in the Triumph Herald 1200, outputting 38 bhp. Power was either sent to the rear wheels on terra firma or twin propellers mounted beneath the rear bumper when riding the waves. Steering was via the front wheels, which acted as rudders. It proved its boating prowess back in 1965 when not one but two amphicars crossed the English Channel. Former U.S. President Lyndon Johnson also reportedly enjoyed frightening guests by driving onto his lake while proclaiming that his brakes had failed. It is no secret that we love the Suzuki Jimny, so much so that we shed a tear last year when it was booted out of Great Britain due to emissions regulations. So a land and seafaring Jimny leaves us asking one question. Where do we sign? It will come courtesy of former kit car manufacturer Dutton. The premise is simple. You either buy the conversion kit and do the work yourself or supply a donor Jimny and they will do it for you. Work consists of swapping the mechanical parts from the Jimny into the new stainless steel plastic body, complete with water jet propulsion system. Dutton claims the surf is good for a top speed of 6 miles per hour on water. So no matter how much you floor the accelerator, you won't be breaking any speed records. Eliminating the need for wheels, the Soviet Union developed a series of screw-drive vehicles in the 70s as an exploration into true all-terrain vehicles, able to easily float over difficult surfaces like deep mud, snow, and even open bodies of water. The ZVM2901 is a fusion of an otherwise normal UAZ452 van and the experimental screw-drive system. While it didn't enter production, the ZVM2901 prototype was recently restored to working order by the current director of the Russian ZVM factory. Back in 2004, the Gibbs Aquata, piloted by Richard Branson, set the record for the fastest English Channel crossing by an amphibious vehicle with an official time of 1 hour, 40 minutes, and 6 seconds. And while it may look like a Mazda MX-5 monster truck crossover, in reality, it shares nothing with the sports car other than its headlights. There is a McLaren F1-style three-seat layout, with the driver sitting centrally and passengers located on either side. Power, meanwhile, comes from a 2.5-liter Rover V6 engine with the Aquata capable of over 100 miles per hour on land and over 30 miles per hour on water. An amphibious car, but not as you know it, the Ren Speed Splash is actually a hydrofoil, meaning it can fly about 60 centimeters above the water. And if you have ever seen the America's Cup, you will also know how cool these things are. How does it work? Well, at low depths and speeds, the Splash operates much like any other amphibious vehicle, thanks to its propeller. Once you have reached a depth of 1.3 meters, however, you can deploy fins at the side and rear. Give it the beans and physics take over, with the fins forcing the splash upwards so it glides through the water at up to 50 miles per hour. Powered by a 750cc twin-cylinder snowmobile engine, putting out 139 bhp and 111 pounds per foot of torque, the splash is equally adept on the road. A weight of just 825 kilograms contributes to a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of under 6 seconds onto a top speed of 124 miles per hour. One of the most expensive amphibians, the Kamihydra Spider was sold with an intimidating price of $275,000 and looks to combine sport boats with sports cars. Powered by a 6 liter Chevy LS2 V8, the Kamihydra Spider produces an impressive 400 HP and can hit some serious speeds on land. On the water, though, the Hydra Spider can carry four people at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. The Hydra Spider can carry four people at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour and has some jet ski like performance. Despite the price, the Hydra Spider is a unique looking sports car that doubles as a sports boat for weekend lake trips. Jeeps are downright iconic for one good reason go anywhere all terrain capability. But if you feel being able to drive on the water is an essential part of all terrain, 
then the Watercar Panther is the Jeep for you. An amphibious creation from Watercar, the Panther transforms a Jeep Wrangler into a high-speed amphibious car. Starting production in 2013, the Watercar Panther costs a base price of $158,000. Powered by a Honda V6, the Panther derives its water propulsion from a similar jet drive, allowing it to hit 45 miles per hour on open water. Another amphibious vehicle made by Watercar, the Panther may be cool, but the Python kicks things up several notches into extreme territory. Combining an unlikely mix of truck and Corvette, the Watercar Python is powered by a Corvette-sourced LS series engine, giving it some brutal performance, both on the road and on the water. Hitting 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds on land, the Watercar Python remains fast on water, with a sea-going top speed of 60 miles per hour. Aside from performance, the Watercar Python is a sight to behold on water, making it one of the coolest amphibians out there. Based on a workhorse Chevy Corvair pickup truck, the Corfibian was a one-off amphibious creation with some outstanding looks. Built by a team of Chevy engineers with hopes of having the whimsical creation become an option for the Corvair truck, the Corfibian was transformed into a full-on drivable boat. Regardless, it looks awesome and is probably the perfect vehicle for a weekend lake getaway. Only one was made as a concept, but it still survives today, recently having been sold at Mecham auctions. This is anything but your standard Lotus Elise. Inspired by Bond's Lotus Spirit road-going submarine from 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me, Renspeed founder and CEO Frank M. Rendernecht decided he wanted to have a go-to. Much like 007's, it was designed to be more a submarine than a boat. Powered by twin electric-powered propellers, it can be submerged to a depth of 10 meters with passengers. No sign of wetsuits in the promo pics, though, meaning we would recommend a change of clothes. However, with a top speed of just 2 miles per hour underwater, getting away from those pesky villains might have proven troublesome. No such problems on the road, however, with the S-Cuba maxing out at 75 miles per hour. So guys, we hope you found this list of amphibious cars as fascinating as we did. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching.